Good evening and welcome to Hopkinton High School for tonight's varsity boys basketball game as the Wayland Warriors take on your hometown Hopkinton Hillers. The Tri-Valley League is committed to the highest ideals of sportsmanship and establishing a healthy environment for interscholastic competition. The league will not tolerate negative statements or actions directed towards competitors, game officials, or fans in attendance. Such actions include taunting, trash talking, and the berating of players or officials. Please respect all decisions made by officials. Please respect fans, coaches, participants, and opponents alike. Thank you for helping create a positive, respectful, and fun environment here at HHS. And now for tonight's lineups. For the Wayland Warriors, starting at guard, number three, a sophomore, Porter Moody. Starting at forward, number four, a junior, Jabari Nurse. Starting at forward, number 33, a junior, Gavin Davies. Starting at guard, number five, a junior captain, Jaden Brewington. And starting at guard, number two, a senior captain, Xander Livingston. The Warriors are coached by Dennis Doherty, assisted by Eric Wolven and John Berry. And now for your hometown, Hopkinton Hillers. Starting at guard, number three, a junior, Stephen Maffiori. Starting at guard, number 10, a junior, Thomas Ambersoni. Starting at guard, number 14, a senior, Ryan Kester. Starting at guard, number 21, a senior captain, Michael Puvacod. And starting at forward, number 24, a senior captain, Brendan Kelly. The Hillers are coached by Tom Keene, assisted by Chris Banks. Now, would you all please rise for the playing of our national anthem. Ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the regular season finale of Hopkinton Hillers Boys Basketball on HCAM. Tom Nappy alongside Steve Spector. And tonight, the 13 and 6 Hopkinton Hillers take on the 13 and 6 Wayland Warriors. Hopkinton has won three straight games and have gotten themselves in great position for some potential home playoff games. Wayland has also been red hot as of late. They have won their last four games. Both teams tonight certainly fighting for home court advantage in the postseason. More than likely, both teams already have the first round at home. But tonight, a win could uh, be the potential difference between having that second round home game as well. Steve, it should be a great uh, regular season finale tonight. Two very good teams doing battle here. Yeah, I'm excited to to, uh, to do this game with you, Tom, and a pair of 13 and 6 teams. Uh, don't don't know if they know much about each other. I'm sure they had the, their, their own scouting reports for e each of their teams, and um, it'll be an interesting game because they don't play each other uh, all that often. Uh, again, we're here uh, during the vacation week. Uh, in contrast to last Friday night's game, which was senior night, there's a, a much smaller crowd here. But um, nevertheless, the cheerleaders are here. We got the HCAM crew here, so here we go. And we are underway. Waylon starts off with possession as Jabari Nurse wins the jump ball as Peter Moody passes over to Jaden Brewington. 
Brewington takes it over to the right side of the perimeter as Wayland works around. Nurse now with possession. Jabari Nurse, a sophomore, now a three attempt. No good from Livingston, and the Hillers have it. Ambersoni takes it down, passes it over to Kester. Now back up to Ambersoni. Ambersoni to Puvacad, and now Mafiori. To Kelly, he'll drive along the end line, kick it out to Kester, up for three. Off the rim it goes, no good. Rebound, Jaden Brewington, here comes Whalen. Nice. And it's stolen away, quick hands there by Ambersoni. Mafiori will take it up. Fires it over to the corner, up for three, Puvacad, no good. Tipped out by Kelly, and swatted out of bounds by Ambersoni, just in front of Livingston. Good hustle, however. Little collision there with... Uh Xander Livingston and Ambersoni uh, showed some good sportsmanship on it. both of those guys. They had a pretty pretty good uh, full body contact there. Ball back to Wayland. Jabari Nurse on the entry. Nurse takes it up. Miller's pressing early, trying to drop those turnovers, and we get a whistle here. And our first foul of the game is Jaden Brewington drew contact. And they are going to get Michael Puvacad with the first foul. Wayland looks like they got a quick squad here. Yeah, they got a lot of speed. They also have some good shooters. Jaden Brewington is someone to look out for tonight. Good all around team and they're pretty young as well. They actually only have two seniors on the roster. So I think Wayland's going to be around for the next few years and be a heavy threat in, in the postseason. Good D. And Ambersoni slips a hand in there, nearly steals it away from Moody. Now Livingston launches a three, and he's got it. Tough shot. Whalen strikes first. Ambersoni with possession. Puvacad now. Kester to Kelly. Driving along. Off the glass and in. That's Brendan's patented move underneath. He can go on either side of the, of the board, but he's, he's a big body under there. I don't see. Uh, 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 there's definitely some height on, on uh, Whalen's squad, but not as much bulk. And uh, it'll be interesting to see uh, what happened, how Brendan can uh, handle things tonight. Xander Livingston just hit his second field goal of the night. 5-2 to two, Wayland. We're about 2 minutes and 15 seconds into action here in the first quarter. Kester launches the three. No good there. And it's pulled down by Brewington. And Brewington drew some contact as he was coming up court. It's kind of a weak whistle by the, <laughs> the ref. Right. He, he kind of half blew the whistle, but he did hear it. We could hear it up here through the, through the headphones. Wow. And that's uh, unfortunately Puvacad's second foul, and it's early, so we'll have a seat for a minute. We'll certainly have to be <coughs> careful. Michael Puvacad, certainly a player that the Hillers will need in this game. They're going to need some speed out there tonight. Livingston with possession. Good feed there, up and in. And that is number 23, who is not listed on the roster. So I'm guessing uh, somebody switched numbers. So we'll have to get an update on who 23 is. Ambersoni over to Kester. Now it's Ambersoni once again, Mafiori. Kelly up and in. Brandon Kelly strikes for his second time tonight. 7 to 4, Wayland. Lewington fires it up over to Livingston. And now it's back to Brewington driving in from the right wing and getting a hand in there was McCallum Lind. And Lind gets a hand in there once again and it's taken away. Ambrosoni drives up over to Kester up for three. No, off the rim it goes. It was a good turn over there. Now Mafiori with an air steal. Livingston able to have a nice move to get around Mafiori, however. Moody with possession. Now back to Livingston. Almost a double dribble. This Wayland team, uh, you mentioned, certainly a quick team, much like the Hillers. Miss from the elbow there by Nurse. It is a Wayland rebound as Nurse is going to drive in, go for the reverse, and we have a foul. Ooh. I thought it could have been a travel there, Tom, but he was dancing on the, on the baseline. That's the third foul on the Hillers. Yeah, <coughs> some body contact there. They get Brendan Kelly with his first. Xander Livingston on the entry. Gavin Davies is number 23. Ooh. And there's a bucket there 
A three ball by Brewington. 10-4, Wayland. It's a good start for the Warriors. And Bersoni fires it over. And now Mafiori kicks it back out to Ambersoni. Oh boy, and that's trouble. Stolen away, <laughs> long pass there by Moody. Up and in goes Could Livingston. Time out here. <clears throat> and that is his third field goal. Xander Livingston with a wide open break there, puts it off the window and in. Whalen leading the Hillers 12 to four. Boy, that's a tough stretch. That's a good timeout by, by Coach Keene to uh, gather his troops here. Whalen's having, uh, I tell you, defensively, they're, they're in a 2-3 zone, <clears throat> excuse me, and they are very active at the top, and it's creating some problems for the, the Hillers there. They haven't, you know, with the exception of Brendan Kelly's uh, one bucket, they haven't really done much other than launch three-pointers, and, they, and that's because they can't get any penetration or anything going on uh, flow-wise uh, offensively, and Whalen has got some speed. That was, uh, there's no one that's going to catch some of these guys. If, they gotta, if, if they're even at half court, it's a, uh, they got, they got a tough squad. So <clears throat> see if the Hillers can reel it in here. It's still early. They certainly do. And Wayland uh, last took care of business against Ashland. So there's a common opponent that these two teams have seen. That was recently, right? That was, uh, I believe, on Monday. Wayland uh, grabbed the victory over Ashland as Mafiori will work up court. And Rossoni up to Lind. Around the perimeter they go. Three ball, oh, no good by Mafiori. Wayland has it there to collect nice. the brewing 10 and taken away by Rankatori. Lind with an air travel trying to fire across to Mafiori. It's picked off by Nurse. Nurse driving in, he'll draw contact from Mafiori. Rankatori unfortunately got caught in the air. Um, I'm sorry, it might have been uh, Mac Lind. I can't remember which one, but over here right in front of us and tried to do the old cross court pass and just didn't have enough on it and that led to the break and a, and a foul on Mafioria. Uh, four fouls on the Hillers, none for Wayland. This Wayland team, they certainly have some offense. They put up 82 points on Monday in the 82-58 victory over Ashland. Mafiori steals it away. Here he comes up court, coast to coast, up and in. Wow, nice ball fake over the taller player, not an easy shot. Certainly wasn't. Brewington with the pass up court over to Moody, and now it's Nurse for three. Air ball there, collected by Ambersoni. Ambersoni at the top of the key. Fires it over to Mafiori. Drew Rankatori in there as well for the Hillers, getting some good playing time in this first quarter. Lynn fires it out to Ambersoni, up for three, and that will Roll off the rim, out of bounds it goes, and it was last touched by Mafiori, says the official. And did we have Some a foul as well? It looks like we did. Oh, man. They got Mafiori with his second. That's two, two players with two early fouls. <clears throat> Nurse on the entry. Moody with the pass down over to Nurse. Good feed there, up, no nice good. Block. What a block by Rosen. Big time. That looked like a pretty open shot there by Davies, but Rosen says, not oh. my house. And now Mafiori with some fancy moves to put it up and in. Beautiful, sweet shot. Hiller is climbing back, 12 to eight. Now we have a travel called against Davies. Big momentum shift, Tom. It was 12-4, now it's 12-8, and Hiller's uh, taking advantage of Elon Rosen bringing a spark off the bench with a big block. He's He's got several this year. Oh, wide open down there. Certainly is a big momentum shift going on. And a loose ball, Keith able to collect, passes it over. Oh. Up for three, no good there by Puvacad. And here comes Whalen. Brewington with possession, driving in around Rosen. Kicks it out over to Livingston, up for three, got it. Wow. Xander Livingston, four field goals already for Whalen. He has a total of 10 points. And it's 15 to eight, Whalen leading. 125 and counting left to go in the first quarter. Puvacad over to Keefe now back. To Keefe he goes, Puvacad with, trying to feed it kick. inside and someone got a foot on the ball. Was, uh, wow, Whalen, uh, again, as I said earlier, at the top of the key, they are just really making it difficult to do much of uh, anything offensively pass-wise. 
for the Hillers. And there's another example of that. They're just very active down there. That was knocked out of bounds off of Melvin. Hillers will inbound once again. Ryan Kester on the entry. Over to Puvacad, he goes. Keith Puvacad. hanging out in the corner there, wide open. Back to Kester now. Puvacad over to Lind, pump fake and the shot. And nice. he oh. drew the foul. Was hoping for an and one there. Good job by Mac Lind. And he, he had an opportunity to get the ball out to, to Keith on the wing, but uh, I think he made a good decision to take it up uh, with a little six-footer in the lane. I'd say so, and he hits the first of two. The foul is called on Gavin Davies. That's his first. Second of two, no off the iron, and the Warriors have it. Here comes Whalen. Brewington with the pass over to the corner, and now Davies with the fadeaway, got it. Sweet shot. Really created some space and had a nice arc on the shot. Unstoppable there. Puvakai was looking for Rosen, and fortunately for the Hillers, Davies got a foot on the ball. Kester will have the entry. 40 seconds left in the first quarter. A 17-9 Whalen lead. Uvacad. Lynn now will pass around the top. Out to Kester, who's hoping for a three opportunity there. Trying to fire it out to Mafiori. What a read by Brewington. Brewington going to take it in up for the jumper. Count it. Wow. Jaden Brewington with his second field goal of the night. He made up his mind. He's going... Going to the hoop, a steal and a nice shot. That's a heck of a play by him. And uh, again, Whalen knocking the ball out of bounds, very active defensively. You got two hustling teams here. Rosen kicks back out. Kester for three. Got yes. it. That's a big shot right there. A little momentum shift uh, as we go into the second quarter. Buzzer beater, Ooh. almost. Nice, nice attempt by Jack Melvin. Wow. Well, that was a uh, very entertaining first quarter, I must say, but it is a 19 to 12 Wayland lead. It's uh, two teams that I think are going to be neck and neck this entire game. Great hustle out there by both sides. Yeah, both both teams have a lot of speed. Uh, Hillers have a little bit of a situation with their, with uh, some fouls to deal with, but we're gonna right now we're gonna take a quick break and listen to the Hopkinton uh, Hiller cheerleaders. Nice job by the Hiller cheerleaders. Let's take a look at the point totals for the first quarter. For Wayland, Xander Livingston with 10. Jane Brewington with 5. Gavin Davies with 4. For the Hillers, Stephen Maffiori with 4. Ryan Kester with 3. Brendan Kelly with 4. McCallum Lind with 1. Yeah, the 19-12 Wayland uh, with a lead so far. And as these things can go, things can happen in spurts and uh, Wayland uh, had their way at the very end. It was nice to see Kester uh, hit a three-pointer with about four seconds left in the quarter to pull it to within seven. So that's, that helps, and the Hillers have the ball now starting the, the second quarter. Kester. And the Hillers and Wayland, I believe, are in the same playoff bracket. So who knows? Maybe another potential matchup. Air ball there by Lind. Oh. And Nurse going to draw some contact. And that is going to be the third on Puvacad. That was unfortunate and, and really hit, you know, to be perfectly honest, unnecessary. Um, picking up his third foul right there it was just a reach and he didn't have to do that, but what are you gonna do? Can't get that one back. Yeah, he's gonna have to be careful the rest of the game. That's a player the Hillers could really use tonight. Brewington. Up for the shot, air ball there, and it's collected by Lynn. Nice job by Lynn cutting off Davies. Ambersoni, around the perimeter they go. Kester for three. Count it! 
He's hot. Find a little groove there for Mr. Kester. I think uh, that's who you have to get the ball to. Nurse. Nice block. That was a great block there by Rosen. Ambersoni taking it up. Ball uh -huh. was knocked out by Brewington, and Whalen has it back. Brewington going to take it to the rack. Up and no good. Grabs his own rebound. Put back. Yes. And we have a whistle as well. Do we have any? I think it's a technical foul. I think I think they had a little discussion. Ooh. Technical foul on number five, uh, Be Brewington, who. Are they waving off that shot as well? I, I think the shot's yeah. good. I don't know. I we'll think, see. I think they might have got him. Uh, Fort fell on the shot it might have been an offensive foul there and that's what he disagreed with so I think yeah but I don't think they're going to count that shot wow that's a big swing Matt Fiore at the line to take the technical free throw and he hits the first of two so wave off that bucket that's Brewing, big that's a huge swing right there Brewington uh, <laughs> Oh, like, they did count the shot. Okay. So. Yeah, I think the shot went down, and then I, I, from what I could see up here, Tommy, he had a little conversation with the ref, and the ref didn't like how that was going and gave him a tee. He was looking for the and one. I mean, I can understand some frustration if they didn't count the shot, but he they, crossed the they line. counted the shot, so why are you getting frustrated? Yeah, you didn't get the and one, but big deal. You got the points. And he got a tee. That's right. <laughs> he got a little bonus there. Well, now you give the Hillers a couple points. Ambersonio to Kester. He's nice. going to drive in up for the jumper. Air ball there. Kelly collects, and he's denied. Rosen able to collect off the block by Nurse. And now back to Kelly off the glass and in. Beautiful. And, and one as well. Brendan Kelly sticking with it, grabbing the bucket, and he's at the line. Gee, Kester, you know, <clears throat> he's been on fire, and he had a little eight or ten footer in the lane and it looked like it got partially blocked you said it was an air ball it looked like it could have been blocked and then uh, a little bit of a scramble and get, ball ended up back in Kelly's hands and again he uses his body so well underneath and uh, there's not a lot of bulk down there for, for Whalen they got some speed and they got some some hops but not a lot of bulk so hopefully Brendan can take advantage of that Hiller's on an 8-2 run in this second quarter it's a one point game there it is. so out of the way here comes Kester what a steal there, back to Maffiori. Maffiori gonna fire it over to Amber Sony up and off the bottom of the hoop. He collects, however, and kicks it back out to Maffiori. Driving the lane over to Kelly, oh. up, no good. And Kelly nearly collects once again, but this time Livingston is there. A lot of action, man. Certainly was. <laughs> Great hustle by the Hillers in the low post. And they have just gotten better and better in the low post as the season has gone on. Jabari Nurse going to swish that one through for three. I mean, that was from Ashland. That was that was well beyond the arc there. Yeah, that was an NBA type three yep. right there. Maffiori out to Ambersoni. Back up to Kelly. He's going to drive in. Up, Ooh. no good. It'll roll off the rim. And th we do have a foul on the rebound attempt. And it's going to be against the Hillers, I believe. On Rosen? I think they might oh, have got Ro oh. Yeah, they got Rosen. <laughs> So they get Rosen with his first, and Wayland is now in the bonus. So it's a one and one for Jabari Nurse. That one could have been on Brendan. Brendan had a little contact after. He's he's being aggressive as he should be. That's the way that's the way he should play because that's uh, he's most effective that way. Front end no good, tipped up, and it is briefly collected by Davies. He tries to pass it, and it, it went off of a Hiller, and Livingston couldn't finish. We do have a foul. Oh boy. The both teams are really fired up here. This you is a just... physical game. Yep. <laughs> Scrappy. They got uh, Xander Livingston with his first. So that is the fourth team foul on Whalen. The Hillers have seven. Maffiori with possession up to Ambersoni. Now Kester feeds Kelly along the baseline out to Maffiori up for three. Mm. Count it. Steven Maffiori swishing through. Well, if you get Maffiori and Kester hot from beyond the perimeter, look out. 24-23, Waylon lead. Nurse up for the jumper, got it. Wow, this is a track meet here. Certainly is. This game so far has been Ooh, all about a, looks speed. Looks like a foul there. Yeah, they're letting him play a little bit. Yep. Maffiori, got it. The microwave is heating up quick. I like it. Four field goals of the game for Matt Fiore. Two of those 
from beyond the perimeter. Jumper here by Davies, no, collected by Kelly. Ambersoni will take it up. A 26-26 game, 425 and counting, left to go in the first half. Maffiori, no good there, and it's collected by Melvin. Melvin fires it up to Nurse, and now it's knocked away by Rankatori, and it's recollected there by Melvin. Three, and it is not going to count. There was a whistle. We have an offensive foul, I believe. I think it was a travel on Lee. Killers will take it. Moving violation. Hopkinton will inbound. Keefe on the entry to Ambersoni. Maffiori back to Ambersoni. Keefe. Killers trying to find a way into the interior. Less than four minutes left now in the first half. Kelly along the end line. He's blocked and put back, and he draws contact. Oof. Gavin Davies took one for the team right in his jaw. Brendan, Brendan was surrounded by Orange down low, and I think Davies is che checking out his uh, jawbone in there. It was really quite a collision coming back. Hope he's okay. Third foul on Davies. Kelly hits the first of two. It's two for two from the stripe so far. Eight points for Brendan Kelly tonight. Hillers with their uh, first lead of the game, up by one. Got it. 3.49 left in the first half, 28-26 Hillers. 16. 16 to seven this, this quarter for the, for the Hillers. Moody with possession. Certainly Ooh, been an double. impressive quarter, that's for sure. Brewington back to Moody, up for three. No, falls well short. Put back, Livingston, count it. Unfortunate there. Just no box out, but just, a, just an un unlucky bounce for the Hillers. Xander Livingston with 12 points so far tonight. Stolen away on the attempt to get it to Lind. Now Brewington with possession. Brewington drives in, feeds the corner. Here comes Moody. Good pass there. No good on the shot. Tipped up by Kelly. Collected by Livingston. Up and in he goes. Xander Livingston, 14 points in this game. Tough stuff, man. Don't let him touch the ball if you're the Hillers. Maffiori able to feed Lind. Knocked out of bounds off the hand of Nick Johnson. 30 to 28 lead for Whalen. 2.50 left to go in the first half. Back and forth we go here at the Athletic Center. I don't know about you, I'm out of breath just calling the game here. <laughs> it's just up and down. Brian Keefe to Ambersoni. Ambersoni oh. was trying some moves there, was stolen away. Brewington with a good feed and drawing the foul is Livingston. They're going to get Lind with that one. Not a bad foul there, given what happened on the other end of the court. That was Mac, Mac Lind's first foul, so the, not a bad one for him. They were already in the, the bonus, so. Xander Livingston, he can do it all. It's the first of two free throws. 15 points for the senior. And that one no good. Collected by Puvacad. Over to Keefe. Now back to Puvacad. Lind. Had Rosen underneath, wide open. Up for three, Kester. No good there. Loose ball collected by Puvacad. Over to a wide open Rosen off the window and in. He's been wide open the whole that whole possession. And they, they finally got the ball to him, fortunately. Well, Whalen, they thought uh, they had the ball, but a little uh, premature there, working their way up court. Up for three and no good there, Brewington. Lynn collects, here comes Puvacad. Keefe over Rosen. And Rosen trying to get back to Keefe, and they call it out on the Hillers. That's too bad. Again, the, the, the Wayland is very effective defending around the perimeter, and the Hillers are having a 
one of the more difficult times working the ball around. Uh, we've seen done a lot of games this year, and uh, but uh, while I say that, they've got 30 points in the f in the her in the first half already, so they're they're certainly getting it done. Both of these teams seem to be on their A game tonight. We're gonna have a foul here. Is Brewington shot an offensive charge? Is the call? Team sixth for Wayland. They get Jabari Nurse with his first. Must have cleared out or something there. I didn't really see it, but. 135 left in the first half. One point lead for Wayland. That ball knocked out of bounds. And they call it out off of Keith. Yeah, it looked like Bruinton got a hand on it, and then it hit Keith a little bit. Double tip. Keith's got to come to the ball there. He kind of waited for it a little bit. Moody with possession gets back to Livingston. Over to Brewington. Now Livingston. Moody. Kicks it back out. Over to Nurse. Whalen running out of time on the shot clock. Five seconds there left. It and it's tipped away. Amber Sony trying to get to the loose ball. Some quick hands there. Shot clock expires. It'll be Hiller's basketball. Good hustle by Amber Sony. Certainly was. Could have been a foul on Wayland as Amber Sony was getting to the ball. It looked like the Wayland player nudged him. Rest trying to let the guys play tonight, which is good. Amber Sony with possession. Less than a minute left to go in the first half. This has been a great half of basketball. Yeah, very enjoyable. Mafiori. Over to Kelly. Up and in. Brandon Kelly. Just dominating in the low post. One of his best offensive outputs of the season so far. It's only halftime, just about. 11 points for Brendan Kelly so far. Brewington with possession. Up for the jumper, count it. He's a nice player. Jane Brewington with nine points for Wayland. I, 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 I gotta say, I wouldn't mind seeing these two teams meet up in the playoffs. Perhaps a sectional finals meeting. There you go. Amber Sony over to Keefe. Five seconds left to go in the half. Over to Kelly, and he's denied. Knocked out of bounds. 1.3 seconds left to go. They call it out off of Kelly. I don't know if I agree with that one. That's unfortunate. One must have gone off his knee or something. Here comes the buzzer beater. Brewington. Oh. Falls just short. That was close. Well, at the half, it is Wayland 33, Hopkinton 32, back and forth, momentum shifts. What a basketball game we have going on here, Steve. Well, that was a good uh, good second quarter for the Hillers. Uh, even go back to the end of the first quarter when, when Kester hit that three to bring it to 19-12 because there was a, you know, they for them to come from basically 10 points down and to be down by one right now against a tough squad is a tribute to the Hillers. And... Uh, we're going to take a little halftime break and listen to the Hiller cheerleaders, and then we'll catch you on the other side, and we'll get you with some stats at that time. Stick around. We're the Hiller Volleyball Team. My name is Emma. My name is May. My name is Shelby. My name is Sophie. We're Al and Gal and we love H Camp. We love H Camp. And I volunteer for H Camp TV. And I watch H Camp TV. And I love H Camp TV. And I love H Camp TV. We love H Camp TV. Welcome back to the Hopkinton High School Athletic Center. We are just about ready for the second half between the Wayland Warriors and the Hopkinton Hillers. It is a 33-32 lead for Wayland. 
Let's take a look at the scoring totals of the first half. We'll start off with Wayland, Gavin Davis with four, Jaden Brewington with nine, Jabari Nurse with five, Xander Livingston with 15 for the Hillers. Elon Rosen with two, McCallum Lind with one, Brendan Kelly with 11, Ryan Kester with six, Stephen Maffiori with 12, Tom Nappy alongside Steve Spector, happy to be with you for the regular season finale of Hopkinton Hillers boys basketball, and it has been a great battle so far, Steve. Well, I, I like we just said a minute ago, one of the most entertaining games of the season by far. Um, and both teams are really getting tuned up for the, the playoffs. They have identical records. And, you know, very exciting uh, second half. We're about to get started. And it's already a physical and scrappy game. And I think it's going to just get even more so as we go into the third quarter here. And we are underway in the second half. Shane Brewington hands it off over to Moody. Around the perimeter they go. Nurse with possession. Back to Moody, he'll go up for the shot. No good there, and it's pulled down by Kester. Maffiori will work his way up court. Driving it over to Kelly, and he's called for the travel. Ooh. Bucket will not count. Good idea, though, by Brendan taking it to the hoop. That's where he's got most of his success tonight. He's kind of running the baseline and using his, his big body to just maneuver his way in for some layups so that's hopefully we'll get a lot, a lot more of that uh, in his third and fourth quarter. Nurse up for, for the long jumper no good there and it's pulled down by Puvacad. Ambersoni with possession hands it back to Kester. Now over to Puvacad. Back up to Kester. Puvacad now. Puvacad's going to have to be careful he has three fouls already in this game. It's taken away by Moody. Here comes Brewington. Brewington along the end line. Nearly stepped out of bounds there. Almost a travel. Both teams having a little bit of trouble working their way in the interior. Nurse going to force his way in. Up with the right hand, no good. Kelly pulls it down. Got numbers. Hillers have a three on two here. Nice. Kelly splits the defenders up and in. He just bodied his way through. It was a three on two, but Brenda just took it to the hoop. They really couldn't stop him there. Goes, ah, I can't go around you. I'll go through you. Livingston, got it. Wow. Good response there. Sander Livingston, 18 points. Right back at you. Uvacott, over to Maffiori. Maffiori to Ambersoni. Back to Maffiori. Now Ambersoni. If I recall correctly, I believe the Hillers and Wayland met up in the playoffs a couple years ago. Kickball called there as Moody got the foot on it. Kester on the entry. To Kelly. Nice. Off the window and in. Wow, this is, he's going to get it. Looks like he's on his way to a 20 point night. 15 points so far for Brandon Kelly. He has just been an absolute force in the low post. Here goes Moody. No good there. It is a rebound collected by Davies. Turns it around up for the shot. No good. Nice. Kester gets the loose ball. Fires it over to Puvacad. Up and in oh. with the reverse. Sweetness there. Beautiful. Hillers take the lead for the second time tonight. That was just smooth moves there. And Whalen needs a timeout with 5.22 left to go in the third quarter. The Hillers leading by two. An impressive start to this second half for Hopkinton. Well, not a lot of scoring in general with, you know, almost three minutes into the third quarter. And uh, Hillers having their way with a two-point lead. They were down by a point com coming out of the half. So... But the momentum feels it feels worth it feels even more so um, just the way things are going in the last uh, say 30 seconds, and uh, Whalen trying to regroup after giving up a couple hoops. And well, we have a moment. I'd like to thank our crew this evening, our director Tom Dings on graphics, Samantha Dings, and our camera men slash women this evening, Mary Arnott, John Ritz, and Mike Terosian. 
A 38-36 Hiller's lead over Wayland. 5.22 left to go in the third quarter. Hiller's so far outscoring Wayland in this quarter, 6-3. And I would say so far Hopkinson just dominating the low posts on both sides. And, you know, with a, such a tight score here, I think this is just going to be one of these slugfests here going through here. And again, Whalen still with a very aggressive 2-3 zone. They haven't really changed that strategy because it's been effective. I expect this game to go down to the final seconds. Up for three, Moody. No good there. Collects his own uh, rebound and kicks it back out. Up for three and in goes Brewington. <sighs> nice rotation. Jaden Brewington, 12 points for Whalen. I'd say, oh, I'll say it again, both of these teams on their A game tonight. Stolen away by Moody, nice steal there. Nurse, turnaround jumper, no, and it's pulled down by Puvacad. Knocked out of bounds by Nurse, Hillers will have the entry. Brendan, Brendan Kelly taking a blow. Uh, Elon Rosen coming in, who's, he's had a good game too, and <clears throat> excuse me, have, having some effect uh, defensively with a couple block shots and disrupting shots down there and uh, a bucket or two as well, so. My calculations are correct, he has three rebounds so far. Ambersoni. Puvacot. Over to Lind, and he's tripped up, called for the travel. I think he just had a little misstep there. Well, there he was, you know, for the younger players who are watching what the Wayland player did, <clears throat> uh, Xander Livingston, who's having a heck of a game. He sealed the baseline, and Lynn tried to go by him. He just wasn't enough room there. And uh, forced to travel, basically. Brewington gets it over to Livingston. Now Davies kicks it back out to Livingston. Now Brewington. Up for the jumper. Count it. Wow, he's on fire. They need, they need to deal with him and quick. Uvacad back to Ambersoni. Uvacad back to Ambersoni is going to drive in. Mafiori was hoping nice. for a three opportunity. Great feed to Rosen, but he can't finish. Nice block by Nurse, coast to coast, draws the foul. Oof, Uvacad's fourth. <clears throat> Which is too bad because he kind of got run over is what happened. I actually thought that was an offensive charge. That's an unfortunate development there, but. but actually, I take that back because Puvacad did uh, stop. And when the defender stops and there's contact, it's always going to be on the defender. Yep, Jabari Nurse, quick player, just took it right. Oh! Up for three, no. A roll off the rim collected by Lynn. It's a big contact there. Lynn takes it up. Ooh, that could have been a foul. There's a foul. They're going to get Jaden Brewington with his second. Definitely a physical uh, slugfest, uh, not in the literal sense, but certainly game of spurts. Right now, Whalen's having their way in the last uh, minute, mi minute and a half. These officials are great tonight, though. They're, they're letting them play out there. They know that it's two physical teams. I'm glad they're not calling everything because there would be a whole lot of fouls if they called every bit of contact in this one. And we'd be here till Thursday, <laughs> you know. <laughs> Keefe and Brewington trying to rip it away from Keefe and a nice job there by Keefe putting it out of bounds off of Brewington. Yeah, Both teams putting the pressure on each other. They smothered Keefe there. He's going to be play stronger. Uh oh, that's a, that's a tough pass. Misfire there. Livingston nearly had it, but could not keep control and ended up out of bounds. Very fortunate in that one, Tom, because uh, that, that pass was a little bit of a risky pass, and uh, Hillers were fortunate to get that ball back. Amber Sony with possession out of Mafiori. Over to Rosen. Back out to Amber Sony. Now Keefe up for three. No good there, and it's collected by Davies. It's a good shot by Keefe. That's his shot in the corner. Just didn't go down for him. Both teams struggling a little bit offensively compared to the first two quarters of this game. Stolen away here. Here comes Amber Sony. Good quick hands once again by Tommy, and he's going to draw the foul. 
Looks like Rosen got, got a hand in that one and led to the break. And Amber Sony's got a couple at the line. He's had a couple tremendous steals tonight. That one on Xander Livingston. That's his second. First of two, no good. Well, this is one of those games that free throws could make a huge difference. No question about it. Even the ones that were missed earlier, uh, there were only a few of them. But it's, there hasn't really been a whole lot of free throws overall, uh, just in gen just in general. Uh, you, you're the statistician and announcer. I don't know how you do that. But Amber Sony shortened both of those. That's a sign of a little bit of uh, fatigue. 2.38 left to go in the third quarter. A three-point lead for Whalen. Moody with possession. Back out to Nurse. Nurse up for the long two. No, Kelly tips it in the air, and it's taken by Moody up for the shot. No, and then it's knocked out of bounds, and they call it out off of Wayland. I believe it was Moody got the last touch on it, and the Hillers will have it. The Wayland coach is questioning that call. He thinks it went off of a, a Hiller player. It actually went out of bounds, and almost I think it landed on Ambersoni before it hit. And he was out of, sitting out of bounds, so. Kester up for three. Count it. Huge, huge three. Hillers hadn't had a hoop in a little while. Ryan Kester has a three-pointer in each quarter so far in this game. Total of nine points. Driving in, up for the shot. No good there by Noah Lee, who just recently hopped into the game. Keefe driving up for the Hillers. Over to Lind, up for three. Count oh. it. Making it rain. Wow. Six straight points for the Hillers on two threes in about the last 27 seconds. Brewington gets it over to Lee. Up for three. No. Kelly collects. Hillers up by three. 123 and counting left to go in the third. Over to Kelly. Great feed. Oh. Can't finish. Loose ball, Kelly sticks with it, off the window and in. Wow, that's about eight straight points for the Hillers. Brandon Kelly just shut it down in the low post there. Up for three, no good. Oof, in and out. Rattle out off the hands of Moody. Here comes the Hillers. And there Sony it is. to Kelly, wide open, got it. I think Whalen needs a timeout, um, unless they just run, the, just run to the quarter. Yeah, there it is. Brandon Kelly, 19 points. Eight in this third quarter. Unbelievable. And 10 straight points for the Hillers in about a, I'd say a 90 second span. They just lit it up. And Wayland doesn't have an answer. And the, the only answer was for their coach to call a timeout. I, I can't figure out why uh, Wayland's letting Brandon Kelly run loose. He's just dominating. Well, he's, he's fired up. I think the Hillers are bringing it. This is a... You know, big home game. You know, I said earlier, there's not as uh, it is vacation week, and, and the student section uh, is not up. It's uh, they're in the corner instead of at the. At the no, attendance. they're watching the game on H cam right now. Oh, there you go. They w they want to hear the commentary. And speaking of the exactly, um, but nevertheless, the Hillers are really getting getting tuned up for their uh, for their playoff run, and hopefully we'll have a nice long run, and maybe we'll catch a couple home games here and. You know, last year we you know, with the girls. I think we have while we have a moment. We want to congratulate congratulate the girls team this year. Their record wasn't as uh, as uh, strong as it has been in the past. And again, last year we did we they, they went to the state finals. But we want to make sure that we give them uh, their due well, and congratulate they them. They had a, a very impressive season. They almost made the playoffs. They got one senior on the roster. It was a transition year for the Siller girls team. But I think next year, look out. Exactly, and they had a lot of freshmen players that contributed immensely and by the end of the season they were really not freshmen by their skill level because they got a lot of playing time and uh, that's going to prove to be very helpful uh, in the next couple years. 45 seconds and counting left in the third up for three no good there by Davies collected by Kelly here comes the Hillers over to Amber Sony he's going to pull up oh, great yeah. move there oh count it Tommy Amber Sony wow. with the swing around and the bucket a lot of hang time there. Certainly was. Davies got it. Ooh, that's a big hoop for them. They hadn't had a hoop in a while. Excuse me, that was Jack Melvin, rather. Amber Sony takes it up. Ten seconds left to go in this quarter. A six-point lead for the Hillers. Oh, too bad. 
Kelly with a misstep there. Noah Lee will have the entry for Wayland with 6.4 seconds left to go in the quarter. Here comes Moody driving in, up and in. And that'll do it for the third quarter. It's a four point game in favor of the Hillers. And we'll set it down at courtside right now. A senior legacy gift. All right, get your tickets ready. Take it away, John. All right, ladies and gentlemen, big pot tonight. Winner is 3510480. I'll say it one more time. 3510480. Have a good night. You can pick up your earnings at the table over there. Thank you very much. Well, congratulations to uh, whoever won the raffle today. I guess it was a big pot. As we head into the fourth quarter, the Hiller is leading by four, 50 to 46, and 18 to 13 third quarter in favor of the Hillers and the Hopkinton offense in the last few minutes of that quarter. Pretty tremendous. It was, but again, it was <clears throat> at one point it was 41 to 38, and then the Hillers got about 12 points in a row, and so that was where the, they had that big, big push. And at the very, very end, Tom. Uh, Wayland got a couple buckets, so the momentum did, at the very end, kind of switch, shift over to Wayland. So now, right. we'll, as we start the fourth quarter, it'll be interesting to see how that plays out. Well, I think the Hillers would not be winning this game right now if it wasn't for Brendan Kelly. He's having himself a night. Keith over to Ambersoni, up for three. No good there. Nice. Swatted out by Rosen, back to Ambersoni. Ooh, looked like a foul. And now, loose ball collected by Kester. Great feed to Rosen, and he'll draw contact. Nice play by Rose, and you know when Brendan taking a blow, which he deserves, it, it's really not. A, it's a different kind of a, a big man down there, and Elon does some different things. And in that one, he got he got slammed. That was definitely an obvious foul, and he's he's been effective at the line. So hopefully he can hit these two. And foul called on Jack Melvin. That's his first. First free throw, no good. Well, strap in everybody. I think this is going to be an exciting fourth quarter. 51 to 46 Hillers, 735 and counting. Melvin with possession. Up to Brewington. Up for the shot, no. Collected by Lind. Callum Lind takes it up to Ambersoni. Back out to Lind. Well, pump fake thought about the shot there. Feeds Maffiori instead. Out to Kester. Now over to Rosen. Now Ambersoni. Rosen setting the nice. pick there. Ambersoni drives in off the bottom of the bucket, but he drew contact. I think Ambersoni is uh, was a good take to the hoop. He ran out of room, and he really essentially had no angle to get the ball, the ball up near the rim, but he got hacked in the arm which sort of bailed him out. You get Melvin with his second. Mm. Ambersoni struggling from the stripe. 0 for 3 so far tonight. Fourth foul on Whalen in the half. Second Oof. free throw, That's no. That's unbelievable. You don't see that too often. He's 0 for 4. That's usually a mental thing, yep. too. He's Start thinking about too much. Right. Moody with possession, calling it out. Fires it over to Brewington. Now over to Melvin, back up to Brewington. Long the near side, Lee, and now long three here, Brewington, no good there. And it's collected by Ambersoni. Good defense from Hill the Hillers on that possession. Callum Lind going to drive in. Oh, nice. Great back pass to Rosen there. Ambersoni to Maffiori up for three. Count it. Woo. Biggest lead of the night, eight points. Steven Maffiori with 15 points. 
so far tonight. Brewington, good feed there to Davies. He'll draw, no, travel. Yep, good call by the ref. Well, I thought there was a little contact there, but he did take that misstep first. Yep. So whatever happens first, that's the call you're going to get. You know, what's been good about this season is that, that different people get hot at different times, and uh, Kester's been hot earlier tonight. And obviously, Brendan, Mafiori's hot. Oh, nice. Mafiori trying to feed Rose in. It was knocked out. They pull it out off of the Hillers. You know, Ambersoni has had a, a heck of a season. He's just not getting it done tonight offensively as he has in other games. And uh, it's a little bit glaring when he's, just, he's missed four free throws. Uh, not to pick on him, but that's just un uncharacteristic of him. But there's still plenty of time for him to have an impact. Noah Lee with possession. Well, everyone's entitled to an off night. <laughs> I've had a few. <laughs> Moody up for three. No good. Ooh, nice Over. recovery. Yeah, good job there. And now driving in Brewington up for the shot. No, and it's collected by Lind. Lind cutting off Brewington from getting that rebound. And now we have contact. Or no, timeout by the Hillers. It was definitely contact there, I feel like. That probably should have been called, but that's okay. 5.28 left to go in regulation. The Hillers leading Wayland 54-46. to And so far, they're on a 4 nothing run in this fourth quarter throughout the first two and a half minutes or so. Brewington trying to kind of do it on his own there. Took a, you know, created a good shot for himself right in the key. Didn't go down. A little bit out of frustration went after uh, Mac Lynn tried to, to get to get the ball back and came close to getting the foul. And uh, Lynn got trapped down there. And I think wisely Coach Keene called a timeout to get out of that precarious situation. Well, this is a great tune-up for the playoffs because you're playing another team that is in your bracket in the postseason. And this is the exact kind of matchup you want heading into the playoffs. I feel like a lot of the teams that are playing a, a struggling opponent heading into the postseason, they have a tough time heating up in the playoffs at times. So good matchup tonight for the Hillers. The final regular season tune-up. We continue Whoa. on. Nearly stolen away there. Now it is stolen away. Moody with the quick hands up for the shot. No. And Brewington up for the putback. He'll draw contact. A non-shooting foul. I think that's on Brendan. <clears throat> Excuse me. Unfortunately for uh, Puvakot, he just went behind the back and lost the ball. You got Kester with that foul. Oh, Kester, my bad. Yep. Driving in and drawing the foul is Peter Moody. He'll go to the line. That is only the second team foul by the Hillers. Or third, rather. They get Mafiori with his third, so he'll have to be a little careful. Moody hits the first of two free throws. <clears throat> this game is far from over here. We it certainly is. I mean, the, the, both teams have had spurts. You know, Hiller's got 12 straight points. It's been, a, you know, six or eight point runs by, by each, each squad <clears throat> on a number of occasions tonight. And Whalen's bringing their big gun back, uh, Xander Livingston. He's got a bunch of points tonight. And he's been sitting for a while, so I'm sure he's a little fresh and coming back in, and Hiller's got to deal with him. Sandra Livingston, 18 points. Mafiori on the entry. Lind, back to Mafiori. Mafiori going to drive the lane up for the shot. Oh. No, falls out. That might be the uh, furthest I've ever seen the ball go in, but come back out. Yeah, he, that ball came down wet. It was caught, caught some air in that. A lot of arc on that one. Nurse. Back to Brewington. Noah Lee now with possession. Lee up for the long jumper. No good there. And it's collected by Amber Sony after it went off the hand of Melvin. And now a long shot here. Oh, Got it. Mubakad. Good, good for Michael. He's he's had a bit of a up and down game with four fouls, and he's had to be kind of cautious and playing a little, with maybe not as aggressive as he normally would. So that's a big shot for him. Nothing like a big time.
three bucket to lift your spirits up. And a good response by Jabari Nurse. And that was a long two. Amber Sony takes it up. Four minutes and counting left to go in regulation. Oh, nice. Over to Lind, and he's denied. Amber Sony with possession. 10 seconds on the shot clock. Miller is running out of time. Kelly trying to set the pick there. Pouvacad back to Mafiori. Mafiori going to drive in, pulls up, launches the shot, no good. Batted in the oh. air, back off of the hoop by Lynn. Now Mafiori with another put back, no good. And then he'll collect the loose ball, put it up and in. Wow. What a sequence that was. Mafiori, one of the smaller kids in the court. He got two offensive rebounds in about five seconds. Three here, count it. Jabari wow. Nurse strikes back. Huge three-pointer right there. Jabari Nurse, 10 points for Whalen. Tommy Ambersoni driving in, feeds Lind. Now it's Puvacad. Around the defender, and he'll draw contact from Melvin. Melvin's not agreeing. He's having a little conversation. Looking for an explanation on that. I mean, Puvacad, that's just the way it goes. You know, he, he took it up strong. He kind of stepped into the Whalen player. And... Um, Looking for a little clarification, and the clarification is you got a foul on him. First of two, got it. Nice to see Puvacad coming coming through for his mates in the fourth quarter here. Six points on the night for Michael Puvacad. All of them in the second half. Make it seven. 61 to 53. Hiller is back up by eight. Here comes Jabari Nurse. Over to Livingston who thought about the three. There it is. Oh. Trying to feed up to Noah Lee. It was swiped out by Puvacad, but picked back up by Lee, and then we get a Wayland timeout. I'd say that's a smart timeout there by head coach Dennis Doherty. Calm his team down a little bit. Well, they've got uh, you know three minutes and eight points. In some games, you could say that's a kind of a big deficit, but things are happening so quickly here tonight. You know, one or, one or two three-pointers and bang, it's a, it's a tie game. or close to it. And then um, Mafiori, close to a foul there, would have been his fourth. Refs, again, uh, just in general are letting the boys play. And uh, Whalen got the ball back, and it was still a little bit of a scramble, so the Whalen coach called a timeout to settle his guys down. And coming into the stretch run here, down by eight, they need to... You know, they need a hoop and they need a stop. But for the Hillers, they just got to keep doing what they're doing. They're having a, a great second half. And are, they're in a good spot. They just need to finish the deal. Well, the Hillers in the second half have totally shut down Xander Livingston. He had 15 points in that first half, but has not been able to do anything in the second. I mean, he was on the bench for a, lot, a good part of the uh, this quarter. Um, I wonder if that was related to the technical. Um, I think I think it was that might have been some coaching uh, some uh, coach discipline there it could be if it was anything if it was anything like my high school coach I definitely would have been <laughs> <laughs> I'm going back a few years in Framingham North but were you one of those guys on the bench all the time because of uh, you got into foul trouble no I I always wanted to play more my senior year, I played a lot. My junior year, I didn't play uh, quite as much as I wanted to. But we had dis we always had discussions with my coach at that time. But I, I digress. But we got a game here. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> That's what we're doing. Yep. Lind with possession. Wide open. Puvakai long two. Oh. No, wide to the right. Amber Sony with the hustle nearly had it. But Melvin is able to rip it away. Here comes Nurse. Good feed there to Livingston. And now he's surrounded by Hillers, kicks it back out to Nurse, driving it up for the shot, no, and is able to collect his own rebound and maintain possession. Very athletic young man there. Certainly is, up for the jumper, oh, count it. That's a huge, what a turnaround there. I mean, he just single-handedly got an offensive rebound and somehow created a good shot for himself. 12 points for Jabari Nurse, seven of those 12 in this fourth quarter. McCallum Lind with possession. Amber Sony now. Less than two minutes left to go. Up for three. Puvacad, no. And the loose ball is collected by Nurse. A six-point game in favor of the Hillers. 140 and counting left to go in regulation. 
Emanuel with possession. DeLock Emanuel, sophomore, just recently hop, hopping into the game. Livingston out to Nurse, up for three, no. Close. And it's collected by Mafiori. Work for a good shot, no rush. Amber Sony. Over to Rosen. Now Lind. We're going to get a Hiller's timeout. Coach Keen wants to talk things over. That's a good timeout because Brendan Kelly's been looking to get in the game in the last minute or so, and there's only a minute and seven left in the game. And I think he, you know, I think we'll see a little bit of an adjustment in the roster um, for the last minute. I was looking around. They didn't have a lot of three-point opportunities in there. Not, not, not that, that they have to do that, but the way Whalen is playing their, their D uh, very aggressively, uh, I think the Hillers need to have some three-point options, and they don't think they had as many as they would maybe like. So we'll see if – I know it looked like Kel Kelly's going to come in and see if there's any other changes. Yeah, I was uh, a little surprised to see they got away from giving Mafiori or Kester the opportunity from outside the perimeter, especially with the way they were – shooting uh, from three-point land in the first half. But the low post game has been working. Brandon Kelly single-handedly dominating that third quarter, putting up eight out of the 18 points for the Hillers, 19 overall. But Whalen has keyed in on Kelly in this fourth quarter, and they've shut him down pretty good. Exactly. And, um, you know, this is where, you know, we've only got a few possessions left. No, no real... Uh, Foul, a very difficult, different uh, second half versus the first half in regards to the number of fouls called. So no, n neither team are, is in a bonus situation right now. However, um, Wayland is with five fouls, maybe looking for uh, to put themselves into that situation. We are under a minute left to play. Puvakad kicks it out to Lind, and Lind up for the shot. No, and it's collected by Nurse. Shot clock was about to expire as well. Nurse fires it over to Emmanuel. Emmanuel thought about the shot. He's going to feed it out instead of Brewington. Now it's back to Emmanuel. <clears throat> Let him work the clock. That's fine. Yep. I don't know why. Whalen has to get aggressive here. They're down by six. Good feed over to Nurse. Oh! The shot. What a block by Lind. Amber Sony is going to draw the intentional foul. That, that got their, the whole pillar team off the bench with that block. That was huge. Foul called on Xander Livingston. 30.8 30 seconds left to go. Miller's up by six. They have the entry. And uh, the next Whalen foul will put the Hillers in the bonus. I think we'll see a quick foul here. I think so. Kelly hands it back to Mafiori. Ooh. They missed the uh, foul there. Pumacod nice. back to Mafiori. Thought about the three. He's going to hang on to it. And waste that clock, and now finally a foul. I mean, Mafiori had a wide open three. He had a notion, and he made a really smart play to not shoot that ball um, as he, much as he probably wanted to launch it. I think he was really considering it, though. <laughs> <laughs> um, in any event, that's the strategy. You know, Whalen didn't really manage the clock well in the last, say, 30 or 40 seconds. They were you know, dancing around at the top of the key for 10 or 15 seconds looking for a shot, and then I guess that's a result of the Hillers playing tough D at that very moment. That's a huge turnaround. I think their Hillers are in good shape here. That was a huge free throw by Steven Mafiori as he hits the front end of the one and one. He has 18 points tonight. Tremendous performance. Make it 19. Wow. He is now tied with Brendan Kelly for the team lead. Here comes Brewington. Up for the long three. No, falls short. Collected by Livingston. Good feed there. Oh. Up and in is Nurse plus a foul and and one. That is huge for Wayland. They still have very slim hopes to tie this one up, but that keeps this game at least uh, at bay for the Warriors. Still look, be a, a, a minor miracle if Wayland could somehow pull this out. You almost want to see him miss the shot intentionally and then get the rebound and, and with only 10 seconds left. I mean, they can get the one point and be, still be down by five. That could be what Whalen's talking about right now on that timeout. I uh, think you have to do that, really. Yeah, you'd have to, you know, throw a clang it off the rim and, and whatever whatever play they have in there that they've worked on to be in this situation, they're, they're here. Intentional miss at the foul line, 
try to get the rebound and throw it out. Uh, it, like I said, I think they've run out of time for the most part, but Hillers just need to be smart. Don't foul. Let the let the let Wayland even hit a three pointer. By that, you know, by the time that should happen, it's probably gone three or four seconds. But Hillers taking their time, coming out of their timeout. Well, big credit to uh, Stephen Mafiori and Brennan Kelly tonight. They are playing some tremendous basketball out there. Jabari Nurse trying to complete the and one. See if he decides to try to hit it or decides to. There it is. Yeah, that was intentional, collected by Lind. And there's the foul. <laughs> These officials are letting him play so much, you have to make contact with him a couple times to get the call. I got to say, for that type of a play, that was about that was a pretty good job by number four. Um, sorry, I should know by now. Uh, Jabari Nurse, who had the free throw. Jabari <laughs> Nurse has single-handedly kept uh, Waylon alive in this fourth quarter. He has nine points in the quarter, 14 overall. I mean, both teams have spread their offense around. Um. No good on the front end of the one and one. Here comes Whalen. They have to shoot quick. Up for three. No good. Off the rim it goes. And he'll try it again, but it's too late. The Hillers going to walk away with the 63 to 57 win. A tremendous victory to wrap up regular season play for the Hillers. And Steve, that was just a great team performance by Hopkinson. I mean, like I said, this has been a, an entertaining game. Congratulations to both teams. They both played their hearts out, and they and they they both showed good sportsmanship on a, on a few occasions. They got knocked over, and they were helping each other up as an example of that. And I'm sure they're both both teams are thinking that they might uh, very well see each other, uh, you know, in the next week or two. Well, they certainly could. They're in the same playoff bracket, and that's the next step for the Hillers. They wrap up the regular season, 14 wins, six losses. Next game will be hopefully a home playoff game, but it'll certainly be a playoff game. Stephen Maffiori and Brendan Kelly, your players of the game, as they both score 19 points tonight. For our crew, Tom Dings, Samantha Dings, Mary Arnott, John Ritz, Mike Tarosian, my broadcast partner, Steve Spector. I'm Tom Nappy. The Hillers take down Wayland 63 to 57. We thank you for watching all season long. Hopkinton Hillers Boys Varsity Basketball and H Camp. Take care, enjoy the rest of your day, and we'll talk to you in the playoffs.